seven nights, we gather in solidarity to light the Kenora and we commit to a better future. Happy Kwanzaa, New York City. So we are calling on not just the federal government to provide support and resources to address this humanitarian crisis. We also need better coordination at the border. I'm announcing an executive order requiring charter buses transporting migrants to provide 32 hour notice in advance of their arrival. We think cities and the federal government can work together to create a coordinated plan for admitting and serving people across the country. I'm proud to be here with my fellow mayors to tell Texas Governor Abbott to stop use of migrants as political pawns. Around 6 a.m., a steam pipe owned by Con Edison ruptured Midtown East, and our first responders and emergency crews rushed to turn off the line. We don't have any reported injuries, uh, thank God, and we're going to continue to monitor the situation. We are changing the way we engage with nightlife businesses by launching Cura. We want to better engage business owners to focus on compliance and education, not over enforcement. With this plan, we will keep the heartbeat of New York City, our nightlife venues vibrant, and end outdated enforcement practices that have unduly shut down dozens. Overwhelmingly, the people of this city want you. And yes, you're going to have good days and bad days. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for commitment. Let's know what it is to celebrate and lift each other up. No one does it like New York. We are really looking forward to bringing in 2024 here in Times Square. With the collaboration of all of our agencies and organizations, we know how to safeguard events of this size. I wish everyone a healthy, safe, productive 2024, and know that this is the safest big city in America, New York City. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julie.